Welcome back, everyone, to Red Dusk. I'm your host, Mr. Communism Lover. Um, but uh, we're here now in Taiwan, which has exploded into civil war. Uh, really, by the Chinese People's Republic of China. Um, and we are uh, helping them out as best we can. Uh, last time, we had the Korean War explode, and we were victorious. Or at least our you know, communist uh, DPRK was victorious. Um... Global economic crisis, which we're still reeling from a little bit. But we're trying to police the public as well. These guys are really trying to attack the crap out of us. And General Boros Gromov is hopefully going to be learning a lot here. At least that's the hope. Because these guys are attacking like crazy. Boros, what are you learning? Anything? As we police the, Repu the Republic? No, but if you want to about liquidated assets, please go ahead. Boop. Read that one before. Fighters, naval bombers. We can use maybe carrier fighters, honestly. Carrier. Uh, well, carrier stuff. Fighter planes. 2000s fighters. Huh. No, we need out of resources. Kind of sucks. Yeah. What are we on? Limited exports. We can't go to closed economy. We should make more stuff. More tungsten would be nice. There you go. We can always make more rubber, too, though. But, we'll see. Yeah, you guys are literally just running until you kill yourselves into our line. Well, at least we're winning the war. It's looking pretty good so far. A lot of naval XP. Now we're done with needing all that naval XP. Oh, the old ways of how to do this stuff. They're literally killing their, all their divisions. My bad, that was my pencil. Oopsie. An alternative uh, trade partners. If you're under this, please go ahead. Boop. Yay. You guys actually win. Do they have an airbase? No, oh, they do have an airbase. Maybe we send some planes. Oh, we can't send any planes. Okay, never mind then. My bad. I forgot about that. Ah, oh, we can send two. Very nice. Maybe a fighter to come down here. And, uh... All fighters, eh? Should probably use a little more than just fighters. Ooh, they have quite a few planes, don't they? Well, they didn't even matter in the end. Good job, guys. China's reunification. Uh, it's only through the unity of the Communist Party that the unity of the whole class and the whole nation can be achieved, and it's only through the unity of the whole class and the whole nation that the enemy can be defeated and the national democratic revolution accomplished. From Mao Zedong, Red Sun rises in the East, China's reunification. This repeats itself as PLA soldiers storm Taipei, quashing the last desperate resistance efforts of the ROCA before raising the Red Banner atop the presidential palace, marking the end of the Chinese Civil War. General Secretary of the CPC has declared this a monumental event as China has been fully unified after nearly a century of division. Celebrations erupted across mainland, and a grand parade to commemorate this event has been planned. On the other side, the U.S. evacuation efforts have led to scenes of chaos as many people have had to try to secure plane tickets at any cost, causing a major riot at the U.S. Institute. Currently, the U.S. government has not issued an official statement on the matter, but they're certainly displeased and needs adjustments to their island chain strategy. At long last. Bill Bradley. 2005. Oh, yeah, I guess we had another election, huh? Second Amendment. Love that one. Uh, American, American patriotism. Ballot of war. Huh. Go with supply chain disruption, civil discontent. Nice. Cold War, American Armed Forces, of course. We got a lot more organization. 15% is quite a bit. They've won once somewhere. I'm not sure what we've won. Three times, maybe? Soviet Armed Forces is okay. It's not great. And then roads to recovery, although it's a long way. You know, it'll take years to recover. We're taking the necessary steps to begin that process now. Enter this one out, too. So you this one, please go ahead. Um, yeah. Guys, then we got more to do, like increase KGB spending. Which I read before too. This one, please go ahead too. A uh, true freer world. Need on the west left of Brandon's was a free world. A plain lie that cracks at once, or one realizes the shackles of capitalist oppression chaining them. A true free world would only exist when these chains are destroyed. A free world that exists under the glory of the Communist Warsaw Pact. And on compromise with the USA, after more than 50 years of tiresome diplomatic battles and proxy wars, the Union almost collapsed from the pressure, but we saved it. We won't let that happen again, but that happened because we hyperfixated everything towards winning the Cold War and against the Americans. Is it time to bury the hatchet? Happy 2005, everybody. Let's 
fine for now. Still one and one. Oh, crap. Ooh. Well, that's not good. I guess we lost that one. My bad. I sent the divisions to the wrong group. <sighs> My mistake. Oh, whatever. My bad. Well, Chinese reunification while the communists lost here. Islamic Republic of uh, Pakistan. Oh, now you're a puppet of uh, India. That's probably going to piss some people off. Uh, what would you expect? How long is the content for this mod? I really have no idea. Back on the world stage. Problem solved. Huh. Oh, wait. We need to wait it out. Uh, Syria, Iraq War. The conflict between the Syrian Republic and the Iraqi Republic is broken out in the Middle East. After rising tensions, this conflict arose after Saddam publicly announced that the ideals for which the Syrian Republic stood were hostile to this government and they sought the integration of Iraq into Syria. Thus, the removal of Saddam. Saddam stated that Bashar forced him into his war after several national threats and provocations aimed at the Iraqi people. On the other hand, Bashar stated that the Syrian people seek nothing more than friendly relations between all their people, and that the authoritarian and right-wing Ba'athists must vanquish for the sake of freedom. Now that the conflict has become entirely unavoidable, several uh, battles between Syria and Iraqi troops have already commenced. Mediation between the two nations is infeasible. War in the Middle East? Nothing new, of course. Arab Republic. There you go. The nation is at S E A M E A O. This is more in the Social Republic of Vietnam. It's probably assumed the forefront of establishing the Southeast Asia Mutual Economic Assistance Organization. The founding ceremony allowed in Hanoi witnessed the participation of high-level delegates from the Democratic Republic of Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia. With the fall of Thailand, impacting ASEAN's unity and influence, Vietnam saw an opportune moment to uh, uh, establish an economic alliance that would expand its influence in the region. Addressing a gathering of dignitaries, General Secretary Nong Duc Man stated, SEAM EAO represents a monumental step forward towards a prosperous and harmonious Southeast Asia. Our shared commitment to addressing common challenges, tackling poverty, and embracing sustainable development We'll shape the future of our region. So basically, a mini version of Comic Con? Yeah, I guess so. There you go. Divisions. There's only two. That's alright. We only need two, really. For what we want to do here. Hello? Oh. It's gonna be a red world. Never heard that before. This is green now. It's good. It's the just from the Air Force. It's great. And hang on, tanks. Good. That's construction going. We're not producing any nuclear bombs. It's weird, but okay. Ah. Well, at the very least, let me see you guys. Oh crap, we got a circle, didn't we? Oh boy, they destroyed a division too. That sucks. Wait it out. Well, that's not cool. Um, they are really overrunning us, aren't they? Well, I might want to go back and redo this part. Hmm, not good. Um, so after that, we'll do this. We'll do that one. We've done quite a few of these. And I read these ones before too, so. Interesting. Korean reunification. As predicted, the referendum on reunification in Korea passed with over 90% of votes in favor. Despite external criticisms and suspicions that it was mere formality with a predetermined outcome, this marks the first time Korea has achieved reunification after more than five decades of division. Great job. A massive parade was held in Pyongyang to celebrate the event. In a speech, Korean leader Kim Jong il declared this a triumph of the Korean people's anti imperialist struggle proving that the American Empire is nothing but a paper tiger. It also declares the war and the consequences of the war and called upon all Koreans to rebuild their homeland. All Korea for, may, forever may it shine and, and address to the ethnic issue. Day after day, reactionaries and capitalists have been unjustly slandering our union as a prison of nations, uh, falsely claiming that equality and freedom among peoples do not exist here. However, their basis and foolish accusations hold no merit. 
In truth, our union continues to flourish, and its citizens thrive on the nourishment of freedom. Meanwhile, the United States government, once a modern fascist entity in the 50s, has gradually transformed into a truly fascist regime. The old fascism relied on nationalistic rhetoric, while the new fascism manipulates democratic principles, unfortunately. Some people in our country have unwittingly fallen into their hands. It's undeniable that there were flawed policies during the Brezhnev zero that harmed the solidarity of the Soviet people, particularly regarding the treatment of certain republics, however. Instead of addressing these problems through reforms and practical measures, those who call themselves intellectual engage in trivial and unproductive quarrels, diverting attention from the essential matters. This approach serves to conceal unintentional or intentional support for the reactionary policies, such as advocating for the separation of ethnic groups from a united union of nations. They demanded full autonomy and independence, but conveniently overlooked the crucial question what needs to be asked. What is the purpose of autonomy, and what does independence truly entail? Furthermore, they failed to address a fundamental question of leadership after achieving independence. Unlike these individuals, we are not foolish. Now is the time to devise appropriate social and economic policies that will strengthen our union and foster greater unity and freedom. It's imperative that we focus on practical solutions rather than getting entangled in unproductive quarrels. By doing so, we can begin, uh, begin overcoming our challenges, enhance our solidarity, and ensure a brighter future for all within our united nation and union. <clears throat> Long live our nations, people, and unions. So we're still here in Iraq. We're actually doing better. Um, but then we're also here in the Thai Thailand. Because things went kaboom here too. Uh, did you actually win that? Well, as long as we're dropping a mile, I suppose. We'll get 2,000 strains, of course. Um, I wouldn't mind making a circlement, but still. If they attack again, we might help it. Nope. Yeah, the takes are doing okay. Why well, would you look at that? And a circlement. I hope they can do well. Yeah, and they can. Wow. We're doing okay. I know I'm ignoring Syria, but like, we, these guys are on a roll, and I want to support them as much as we can. And besides, those guys are just holding the line, so. Nope. Okay, you're really not going to be able to win there. How are we doing over here? They're pushing in more. Great. I'm not really concerned about them as much. Because they're actually winning here. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'm gonna recommend they wait, but they're probably not gonna listen to me. Oh, we can set up two things. Yeah, let's set up at least two things then. There you go. And they should be able to win now, here. Hopefully, eventually. Oh! That's why he's like, no, that's not a big deal. Whoa, would you look at that? Oh! Well, these, these guys are cut off. That's a good step in the right direction. I think they should be able to do fine. So, though, I'm not super worried about that either. Hey, just shove them all in the hills and mountains. Nice job, nice job. This one's going to really suck. Hmm. So yeah, this is... Oh, my bad, I forgot to do focus. Oopsie. I was more focused on the war. Um, yeah, we're going to comp compromise with the SCA. Let's see what happens. What is this? Ah, 2,000 strains. Do we? Huh. There you go. Mm. Attack with us. You know, I don't think they have any more fighters, so... Do what you can here. Not as much as possible. What if we just concentrate our forces right here? And how's Syria doing? Um, we're still holding, and they're pushing us back. They don't have that many divisions left, which is actually really nice. Look at that. Anyone here? Nope. Okay. Anyone there? Nope. 
Actually, you know, they're slowly winning against us. Our proposal is accepted. Seeing as reason, the U.S. accepted our proposal for relaxed relations. Surely not increase economic benefits, but also our relations with the USA, which come in handy to decrease world tensions. Better finish. Time to finish what Brezhnev started. Never just a yank. Well, fortunately, we can't really go with that one, so our and old enemies, new partners? We even thought that we would be discussing this, but we were start trade with the US, so we could, maybe we can use it to boost our alien economy. Sounds crazy trading with our enemies, but that might be the only road to success. Alright, uh, there's a good way, good chance we're gonna get cut off here. Desperately try to help them out, but, you know, sometimes it can't be helped. I love tanks. Um, you know what? I don't want to get encircled again, so we're going to retreat. I think Iraq is not going to do so. Iraq is going to do well against us, but still. Yeah, get out of there. I guess, wish our guys would stop attacking as much. Their engineers are nice. Our proposal is accepted. Um, they accepted a proposal for a trade agreement. Surely now increase economic benefits? Oh. Also, our relations with the USA, which come in handy to decrease world tensions. Time to finish what Brezhnev started. Easing the tensions. Tensions have always been high with the US for many decades. It's time to see some of the, ease some of the tension that we've built for over the years. Come on, we, we encircled them. Okay, at least we destroyed them. At least that's good. Jesus Christ, that was so bad. How are we doing over here now? Oh, they actually pushed out. Actually, actually not a bad idea. Look at that. Um. Can you guys actually win here? Oh, oh. Yeah, looks like that. Get in there. All right, they at least they won. Syria, I don't think it's gonna win. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna get destroyed. Um, detente, detente with NATO. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO for short, is the biggest military alliance of the West and was meant to counter us. Having a detente with them could very well build up some need of trust, so they won't be needed for a primarily military alliance. My God. Syrian civil war, not, never good. Well, I hope Vlad, Vladis, uh, Vladislav Akalov is doing okay in learning. Did you still have a lot of enemy fighters? You could probably get rid of these fighters up here. Uh. Oh, and you just lost the air base. <sighs> okay. Well, they're air support. They're pretty much screwed. Less construction speed, more output. Uh, I'm okay with, with that. The Iraq wins war against Syria. Well, there's that. Saddam, great job. Ah. Uh. Well, we tried, my friends. We tried. We are unfortunately unsuccessful, though. And that was after this one, then. 
The Vienna Summit. After some necessary building up of trust with them, we'll invite them to Vienna and propose a mutual trust treaty to resolve a conflict with them once and for all peacefully. Easy over militarization. The odds have always been hard at work, expanding the army whenever we could go, but mostly when he wasn't supposed to. This very could well hurt our prestige, which you cannot let during these times we're trying to peacefully coexist with the West. We'll see. It hurt military factories, but that's alright. And then what? Back on the world stage? Oh, we need to get our problem solved. Yeah. Mm. Coronizatia reborn? Ensuring the rights of ethnic minorities, brotherhood, and unity. Unbreakable Union of Free Republics. Great Russia has been sealed forever. And the United National Identity. Question of religion, side with the church. Oh! Was there enough perspective? Liberation through enlightenment. <coughs> Use anti religious agenda. I think I want to do this one. Question of religion. Religion will be the enemy of communism, and the state has always persisted and remains an enemy of us, too. Trying to erase this. Uh, trying to erase what would anger the population used to it, while telling a bit more than usual could help with grow popularity among the population. Okay. I don't like Iraq. No. I don't like these guys either. Proposal is accepted, though. <clears throat> American delegation responded to a proposal of mutual treaty, uh, trust treaty with support. It seemed that the Americans were willing to live in harmony with their socialist way of life, contrary to their initial beliefs. This might prove that our two blocks can at least very ex at least exist without a threat of escalation. For now, we should always put away our weapons of war and perhaps try influencing Western proletariat to seize power in the countries without the need of our military intervention. Uh, maybe coexistence is possible after all. Get to in daily political power, stability, but we lose some more sport. Uh, we have an okay opinion of them. We have a very okay opinion of these guys. Level 4. Level 4. They're not really going to attack, though. Uh, I keep saying to the wrong people all the time. I'm sorry. But, uh... What about the Peter Rock? So, we can send 7? That's pretty good. Um, I want one more fighter and one more thing of cash. And a thing of pirates. Short up a little bit more. Not bad. Uh, we can let them struggle first. Do these guys have any modifiers for anything? Oil producers, home of the Islamic Revolution. It's uh, not bad. Iraq is actually pretty strong. Seems like or loyal Republican Guard. Even though they got. Negative attack and defense. No fly zones. It's bad for them. Western embargo. Dreams of Gary Rock. Saddam's cold personality. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like they got any extra. Suppressed Air Force. If anything, it looks like everything's really against them. A land of madness. Bug policing territorial expansion. Yeah. Seems about right. Uh. You guys go and help support them? The state of religion. Religion. The opiate of the masses. Uh, continues to plague the union to this day. Ideologically, the party views religion as distorted, erroneous, and illus illusory reflection of nature and humanity, and of social relations. 
In other words, religion personifies nature, representing a loss of human essence. Humans have attributed supernatural powers to deities distinct from their own nature. To find support, protection, and consol consolation, even through this support is merely illusionary or illusory. The question that arises here is what causes fantastical and illusionary reflection of religion? Why do people have such a need for religion and place such great faith in it? Our efforts to diminish its influence of religion on the people have achieved certain successes, but they're still insufficient. Many opinions suggest that we do need to intensify education and propaganda, using scientific development to reduce people's faith in religion. Alternatively, we could uphold their right, oh, uh, their though right, to a religious freedom as stated in the Constitution. Collaborating with the religious institutions will gain public support and help us control them even more uh, effectively and easily. Interesting. Um, so, that is unique, I will say. Quite unique. But liberation through enlightenment. As Karl Marx once said, religion is merely opioid to the masses. To soothe people's pain and sorrow during trying times, however, we shouldn't let religion play that role in the USSR as once again growing powerful and much of the church is riddled with the reactionary elements. We should set focus on educating the people on why harsh times happen and how it can be solved through kindness action. With this political power more support, we can more research speed, that's good at least. And increase anti religious agenda. Education isn't the only place to combat people's reliance on religion. We should also combat religious influence from the day to day basis. From the press to radios to TV shows, the government mandated messages will show the truths about religion and expose the ground of the reactionary influence it possesses. Of course, consumer goods, though. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Hey, it looks like we've been here before. Nice job, guys. Well, if there's no one here, I mean. What am I supposed to do? Oops. Hello. What is Aleppo? Good job, guys. Alright then. Oh, look at this. Islamic Emirate of Bara. Iraq. Kim. We got a lot of red influence here in different places. Islam, socialists. The Islamic Axis. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Warsaw Pact. Alright. A new generation of communists. To turn our youth away from being corrupted by religion, will sponsor youth programs that will cleanse the normal child's brain of religion. Destruction, religious destruction, and makes them accept that they're born to be Soviet and that's what matters the most. The Great Middle East War. We have to go along a row covered with blood. We have no other alternative. For us, it's a matter of life or death, a matter of living or existing. We have to be ready to face the challenges that await us. After rising tensions between the regional powers of the Middle East, the Islamic Republic of Iraq has declared war on Saudi aligned states. The tension between the Saudis and the Islamic Republic of Iraq was all time high after multiple border conflicts and Baghdad's demands for Saudi Arabia to be aligned with Baghdad, which were obviously declined by Riyadh. As thousands of soldiers pass the borders and engage, it seems Saddam wants to secure the Middle East for an eventual war with Israel. But what about the oil? Wait, what? Uh. Syrian war. The Iranian war on Saudi Arabia. Oh, that makes sense. Huh. I assume these guys will probably be in the war too, so. Yeah. We're getting up to 14 now? Holy cow. Chris military friends the Croat Yugoslav border, huh? Okay. Will the Balkans ever be stable? No. Whatever. That's literally 12. I did not even plan that.
Welcome back to Iran, everybody. You know, you really shouldn't have it even left. It's the Saudis' fault for this. Yeah, we're gonna blame the Saudis for this. Definitely blame them. Ah, this is green, good. Oh yeah, we're destroying their planes. I love to see it. Oopsie. Grab you, grab you, grab you. That's some serious, like, destruction of airplanes. Yeah, that's actually really nice to see. CV, CPV, Alex New General Secretary, huh? Ah, Vietnam. Alright. New Generation of Communists, my friends. You know, you might be able to do this, perhaps. Botswana? And Mozambique? Oh god, we got encircled. Uh, I need to come back here. Human sweatshops. Don't need to uh, talk, worry about that. Um, autarky? Or a globalized economy? That's consumer goods. Max factories in the state go up, though. Trade opinion factor goes down. Basic self-sustainability. Oh, truth be told, I think we're going to go with globalized economy just because um, that's kind of the route we've gone with this campaign so far-ish. Look at that. Oh, we're beating the crap out of these guys. We're really hard. Hey, better tank. Sounds good to me. I wish we could edit the tank because I have all the DLC at the time it's recording. I'm, I'm like Hoi 4 is like literally the game I buy all the D DLC for all the time. We're about to get circled so badly, it's not funny here. Oh, the Yugoslav War. If you saw what I saw for the future of Yugoslavia, it would scare you. Conflict in Yugoslavia. Today, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia is in a state of war with the breakaway states of Croatia and Slovenia. These are the words of the President of SFR Yugoslavia, Slobodan Misilovic, when he appeared on national television earlier today. Numerous reports of the Yugoslav People Army entering Croatian territory have been coming in. The Croatian government in Zagreb has announced that enemy forces across the border have already entered the border towns and smaller cities. Though the major ones, such as Vukovar, Dubrovnik, and others are still in Croatian hands and thus suffering from intense bombardment. Meanwhile, the UN's General Assembly and many nations are divided on what to do and who to support. The emergency session of the UN Security Council is scheduled for tomorrow. Many expect the conflict to last long and be brutal. Old wounds reopen once more. I don't think we need to support them too much. I think they'll be okay, honestly, without us. Oh, is this nine divisions here? No. Here it is. That's what we wanted to send. I honestly don't think we need to send them. But how many planes can we send here? Three? Alright, what do you got here? Western cluster support. Uh-huh. Where are you? That's what I thought would happen. As long as you can hold down the capital city. Crap. <laughs> of course that would happen. Uh, you didn't see that happen. Yeah, that, didn't, that totally did not happen. Um, but yeah, okay, that's not bad. Rehabilitate stall and order this one before. So you do this one again, please go ahead. No, 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 no. You don't. You go this way. Would you want to lower your uh, organization too much? Okay, you're done. Good. Good. We got too aggressive here. 
So you can, you're allowed to do this since they have divisions here that probably be, okay, there you go, see? They did it again. Come on, guys. Reunification of Yugoslavia. The breakaway states of Croatia and Slovenia had hoped that their independence was secured in the 90s due to Yugoslav's weakness caused by internal instability. Instability. Now, with Yugoslav tanks roll across the Kurev and Ljubljana, Croatian and Slovenian governments officially surrendered to Yugoslav forces. Yugoslavia had almost collapsed multiple times after Tito's death, whether it be Slovenia's or Croatia's separate recession for the country, or multiple separatist organizations committing attacks. Yugoslavia was able to endure and regain its strength to recover their former republics. With both breakaway states now reoccupied by the JNA, the police sweep forces sweeping any resistance Yugoslavia has been reunited. South Slavs united once again. Stalin's legacy. How do people in the Soviet Union view Stalin? For some, Stalin is one of the most exceptional leaders who transformed a backwards country into an industrial powerhouse, defeated the fascist invaders, liberated Eastern Europe, and turned the Soviet Union into a true superpower. But the gifts of his legacy still enduring to his day. However, for others, Stalin is an imperfect human like anyone else. Despite his remarkable achievements, his mistakes, such as forced deportions and bloody purges, cannot be overlooked. Without mentioning the detractors, opportunistic vultures trampling on the footsteps of the early uh, revolutionaries because their slanderous words hold no victor historical value. During the Glasnost era, Stalin was vilified and demonized by the likes of Yakov, Yakolev and Gorbachev, but now in our world preserve the revolutionary tradition, we must provide an objective historical truth to the present generations. Interesting. Cult of Stalin. Well, I mean, we already went Brezhnev's thing, so I guess we're probably going to go with the flawed leader at this point. I guess we're probably going to go down, uh, what is this person's about? Andreeva's influence, probably? Andreeva? will probably go with that person, maybe. Uh, along with the people of the Soviet Union, I express my anger and outrage at the repressions that took place in the 30s and 40s due to the mistakes of the party and the state leadership at the time. However, conscience firmly opposes painting events with a single brush. I support the party's call to protect the honor and dignity of the pioneers of socialism. I believe that those from the positions within the party must acknowledge the historical role of all the leaders of the party and country, including Mr. Stalin. Mr. Cash, good job. Oh, yeah, there's still over here. Uh, hello? Hello? Hopefully we don't get into it this time, too. Help him out. Good job. Nice job. Oh, and they're gone. Thank goodness. I hope you the crap out of this guy's here, too. See, when we do well, it's great. When we don't do well, it makes me sad. Nice job. Nice job. Go in. Yes, please. We gotta redeem ourselves here, too. A flawed leader. I denounce crimes. Under Stalin, many extensive and bloody purges happened, killing thousands. A lot of it could have been fully innocent blood spilled, too. It is best to destroy people that long for the Union's destruction, but in doing so, he also killed innocent Soviets in the crossfire. right now I want to continue zoom like this because it makes no sense to me um, 19 of them wow yeah can you guys like help us out here too
punishments, crimes, praise successes. So all while making mistakes, it all did some great things for us. He won the Great Patriotic War with a strong discipline that he inspired on his soldiers that won us the major battles of the war. He got out from the other group of powers against the Nazi menace, and together we beat the Nazis coming off the continent. There you go. Kill yourselves. We should be good from here on out. There we go. Well, give him more of a mountaineer. Good job, guys. We might have lost a division along the way, but we're not going to talk about that. At least we did it. What are we building now? More roads? That's good, at least, I guess. More rubber. Oh. And since we're going this route, anyways, we might as well go all the way with this. Colonization was an integ integration program started in the 20s and used up until the 30s. It was used to integrate their nationalities into the governments and bureaucracies of the respective Soviet republics. Ensuring the rights of. Uh, oh, mm, mm, or we can still bounce it out. You know what? I want to go the other way. Screw it. Unbreakable Union of Free people, Republics. The Union is the most uh, unbroken union that houses many free republics inside it. That strives towards a shared goal of reaching communism one day. Our nationalities don't really matter, so a new united identity and nationality have been constructed to help with that. Screw it, we're, we're, I'll do that one instead. Great, Russia has been sealed forever. Russia is one of the largest SSRs, dominated by the USSR. While towns of the Soviet Republic was trying to integrate more people into being Russian, that clearly didn't work out very well for them, which should make them accept their new future of cooperation and welfare for all, of all, with a new Soviet identity. Yeah, why not? A uh, united national identity. The strength of Soviet patriotism lies in the fact that it's based not on racial or national prejudices, but on the people's profound loyalty and devotion to the Soviet motherland, on the fraternal partnership of the working peoples of all the nationalities in our country. Soviet patriotism harmoniously combines the national traditions of the peoples and co well, common vital interests of all the working people of the Union. Far from dividing them, Soviet patriotism welds the nations and the peoples of our country into a single fraternal family. It should be regarded as a basis of the invaluable friendship of the peoples of the Soviet Union, which is growing ever stronger. Oh, sounds good to me. Got a little more worth for that too. Um, yeah, we're gonna go this side. We definitely don't need that extra manpower. Wow, these guys have been really doing a number on people down here, haven't they? Down here, African Defense Pacto. Yep, problem solved. With the General Secretary Pugo's wonderful problem solving skills, we were able to iron out most of the problems that once plagued the Union, but no more. Our lands, I have to say, this country. Wait. And shall continue to do so until they can. Wait, hold on. Israel beat them. Oh, uh, did they? Are you sure about that? I guess you took out Lebanon, maybe, but that was it. Uh. Back on the world stage. Well, I guess we're gonna continue going this way then. Once coming to a total collapse, the Union barely survived in 91 and was left a crippled nation with a diminished influence. Its allies in Eastern Europe were overthrown and multiple republics broke away. Not a full decade gone past, the USSR is right back to its position to head the global climate forces that will rival NATO once more. Home of the revolution. Reinforce Mongolia. Begin the reconciliation. State visit. Problem solved. Communist International. Well, that's quite interesting. 
Red Dragon of the East. Ooh. Chance Dragon's been an enemy of us since some time, with them having stayed off true colors, of course, to communism. Betraying or just cause, we have to deal with them some way, whether it be reconciling with them, or showing them who can call the shots in the communist world, the 31st Party Congress. Time has come for the 31st Party Congress to take place and decide the course of the action the Union will take. Our representatives will be elected, decisions will be made, but one thing's certain, a good future awaits the Union under Pugo. Following the establishment of the Comic Con, the Soviet Union, in an effort to expand, consolidate its influence, and establish an international congress of communist and workers' parties, consider the success of the Third International Common Forum. This is a joint declaration after a conference chaired by the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, with the particip participation of ruling parties from Eastern Europe and several communist parties from Western Europe. The Congress also drafted an operational platform outlining strategies and tactics to guide the international communist and workers' movements, support national liberation movements, and propose measures to combat imperialism. While the inaugural session saw the part participation primarily from Eastern <coughs> European communist parties, the organization expected to expand its membership to include countries from Africa, Asia, and even Latin America. The Fourth International? And we'll do hopefully this one. Uh, we're still going to do the 31st Party Congress. So. Yeah, it looks like they're just canceling their non-aggression pact. Seems like NATO wants to be very aggressive with us for some reason. We just want to be peaceful and whatnot, you know? Seriously, bro, what is going on? Also, we made a nuke. Was it because we made a nuke? Like, I just made a nuke because we could. Cold War strategies, new strategies, some of the tanks. Battle group initiatives, lightning strikes, Queen of Battle. I kind of like Queen of Battle. We're using a lot of armor. While our military strategies from the 20th century were good for the time, they filed other usefulness. The New Age demands. Uh oh. Oh crap. New tactics and strategies. We cannot rely on grand formations of tanks and infantry to smash the enemy's lines and then fold the, fold the gap. Or they could easily be destroyed by a single good airstrike artillery hit. So the air army must utilize the speed and effectiveness of maneuvering, as well as the usage of a more powerful artillery to mobilize and destroy enemy forces. Plane shot down. And, uh, a training exercise in Armenia SSR was really interrupted when the fighter planes suddenly lost the group, eventually crossing into the Turkish airspace accidentally and getting shot down without warning. This is a clear pro provocation by Turkey, leading us to demand compensation for the shootdown. Demand immediate apology, compensation, investigation. The relatively peaceful border between the USSR and Turkey was interrupted today as the Soviet warplane was gunned down after allegedly crossing into Turkish airspace. The plane SC-24 fighter was a part of the recent exercise under Armenia SSR before getting separated from the rest of the group. The Turkish government says the plane was told multiple times it was crossing into Turkish airspace before being shot down, something the USSR has vehemently denied. And anyway, this marks the first time since 53 that a Soviet plane has been attacked by a member of NATO and Soviet, the Soviet Union as seen as an unprovoked aggression, further demanding an immediate investigation and major compensation to be paid. The situation only seems to escalate. Further, as Soviet troops move into the Turkish border while Turkey holds their ground, this prospect of World War III seems ever closer. The whole world is in a standstill. Oh crap. Uh, I don't think we're really ready for World War III, truth be told. We did make a few more tanks here, at least, though. Austria's not in, so which is actually good for us. Uh, I'm gonna need to spread you guys out a little bit more. Just in case you guys are gonna be like here ish. You guys have a feeling like the mod is trying to push us towards that way, so. Um, you guys, I'm gonna definitely send you here. The rest of you guys. Fighters. Thank God. Uh, 
I guess we have to use them too. Oh, uh, is Finland in the group? No, they're not. Well, they're also up here too, so just in case. Turkey refuses their demands. Republic of Turkey has responded harshly, claiming that the jet fighters were multiple times were being gunned down. Let's refuse any compensation. It appears that they want to scare Turkey into submission if we want justice. What a way to end. Um, let's see what happens next. USA proposed negotiations. Seeking still as peacefully, Washington has called us a negotiation table. While well, Solomon scribes and peacefully is on everyone's best interest, it's supposed the rest of the Kavir will just go nowhere and waste your time. Um, this is the path to war. Let's not bother with it. Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, I'll let you guys decide. This, uh, when I make the next video after this one, um, let's see what happens. Because they canceled the non-aggression pact. Um, we don't really have a navy for, to fight these guys, though. To get into the UK and get into the America. But we got potential to take over Ralph Khan until Europe. So we'll leave it up and see what happens next time. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as I'll see what path you choose in the end. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.